Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday afternoon and I've been a little bit busy. So I wanted to show you what I've been up to and uh, how far I've got with my journal. And I have just discovered, well, actually I knew about it, but I hadn't um, actually bought any. But I've just discovered freezer paper. And I bought it on Amazon, in case you're wondering. And it's Reynolds Kitchens, okay, and freezer paper. And it's supposed to be for wrapping meat and so forth, but it's plastic coated. And here it is. This is what it looks like. So it's got a shiny side and it's got a matte side. And obviously the shiny side goes down onto the material and you iron the matte side. Okay, so make sure you, you get that correct. Otherwise you mess up your iron. Well, I've just done some printing with it. So I've used this, um, what I call calico, and some of you may call it muslin. Um, and it is cream. So that's why it looks different to that. Now, this is the, um, the, the fabric on paper that I, was, I showed you before that you put in the printer and it comes out like that. But I've stamped on it with these. With this lovely stamp here and some others I've got here which I did yesterday and it was those I believe so I've got them all up here all right and they were just something I got off a magazine actually so I think they were for here we go they're birthday sentiments but I wanted these little buds so and I've chosen that one and that one so that's what's on there and so they're the stamped ones onto the fabric paper that you buy in that folder I showed you. And they're the stamps. I've also used this stamp on some just ordinary linen cotton there. Okay, and that's that one down here. So that came out okay. And it's very thin, this, uh, this material, so it hasn't done a bad job. So I'll be sticking that onto something else. And this is a tablecloth that I had, a little bit thicker than that. Not a lot, but a little bit thicker. And these stamps have come out really well, so they're on permanently. And I've just rubbed the iron over because sometimes I think that does help to make them permanent. So that's ironed ready and we're ready to go. So I'm pleased with that. Um, this is the, um, let me find the name right now, Healing Hollyhocks from Rage and Bella's kit this isn't a new kit this is um one that she's made before rachel that is and i just thought the colors would be nice with this i'm not sure it's going to go but i was just trying this out i didn't have any white material up here like this i may have to do them again on on the white because i think it would probably looking at my journal now i'm thinking now is that going to go see what i mean so unless Let's open it and see, shall we? Now, maybe a bit dark because what I was thinking, I've sewn these in by the way, these are all stitched in and I've used um, threads, embroidery threads to stitch it in with, but it's quite firm. It's not really floppy, but it's, it's okay. So it's all stitched in nicely. My pockets are all stitched in, the lace around the edge all done, as you saw on Facebook. And here are all the pages inside. So I've got three signatures. And in case you're wondering what size they are, let me just get my inch ruler. Uh, inches, let me see. So let's, let's measure the actual, so that's eight inches by five and a half almost just over the signatures and the actual cover is I would say six and a half by I'm not going to measure it from the lace I'm going to measure it from the material not quite eight and a half so that'll give you some a rough idea all right so but there's plenty of room in there now for it to grow so I've, I've left space so that it can get quite chubby if it wants to so that's that okay there's the front there's the back 
and let me move my my lamp sorry turned it off then sorry and i'm not sure now whether i shall use these or not sorry that's my grandson coughing he's got tremendous cough um so i'll put that up there Well, I'm back. I've been waiting for my grandson to stop coughing. He, he had quite a coughing fit, bless him. So all's quiet at the moment. So I may have to stop the camera again. I do apologise for that, but that's life, isn't it? That's family life. Anyway, I've just um, printed off these two onto this lovely material. I thought that might be a bit lighter than the actual, the other one I used, which was, was that. I was going to show you too what happens when um, you just peel it back and you pull it like that and that's how you get it off the freezer paper. All right, so that can go in the bin and then you're left with that and this material does fray. So so that, that's how you get that off. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of, this is the material I've done this on. And I'm just going to do um, some slow stitching. So I know that you, uh, one um, one of you said that you were disappointed. I'm trying to remember who it was. I don't think it was Christina. I can't remember. It may have been Laura. But anyway, I know you said you were. I was covering up the um, the inside of the cover, and I didn't actually do a lot of uh, hand stitching on the on the inside of the cover because I'd planned to do it on the actual tag so this is what i'm doing this is a pearly and it's number 330 and it's five grams in case you're interested double gassed and merchandise so there we are so i've threaded it up ready so you haven't got to watch me doing that and i'm just going to um oh i thought i'd taken this off oh i'm sorry I got carried away then, didn't I? Now let's see if I can peel this back. I was so concerned about him coughing the way he was. Now let me take this one off as well. Because then after I've done this, I'm going to um, glue it onto uh, some card and it will become a tag. All right. So I think I'm just going to go around the edge of this oh i haven't told you what i did i've been playing about whilst i was waiting for my grandson to stop coughing i was using these uh stamps and i thought and i discovered the words were on there i mean i knew the words were on there but i did think they were birthday words so i didn't use them but it has where flowers bloom so does laughter love and hope Special friend I didn't need. So that's what I've used on there. All right. And I've stamped them down onto here with permanent stamps. So I'm just going to go around here now and do some slow stitching quickly around the edge. And whilst I've been... Um, doing this my husband's been waiting for a family to come from um a country somewhere in england and they're arranging uh their mother's funeral but they're also tracing um their family down here which my husband is so thrilled because history is his thing and especially uh, you know tracing family's uh history as well so he's now downstairs with them and they're having a fine old time down there going through the parish records. So isn't that lovely? It's, it's wonderful to think that we've got everything recorded or we should have. That was the problem I had when I went over to Spain because my grandfather was Spanish. That's where I get my name from, Angelita. And... Um, we only got so far tracing the family because, you know, they had a war, a civil war over there and it was brutal. They just burnt everything and it only goes back to a certain date. So 
but over here I think they'll be safe because I think everything will be fine. And my husband has gone through the records already, so I'm sure he's he's got it all prepared for them. But uh, seems to be the thing that people like to do these days, especially I think it happened, you know, in the lockdown. I think people were tracing their family history and it was a lovely record because that's when I did mine in, in the lockdown, I have to say. And I've also done a, um, a journal. I'll, perhaps you'd like to see it. I'll, I'll show you the journals I made. Uh, one for Spain and one for my husband's. And the children were enthralled. So I'm just going to go around the edge of this. I'm not, I was going to embroider these, but this, this is too much. It would take too long. So I'm just going to go around the edge and I may just put some French knots here and there instead. I hope I've got enough thread now. So I'll just do this one. And then um, we can make a tag for it to go on and see what it looks like in the journal. Now, if I'm not happy with the colour of it, then I will find some white because I've got, got it down in my workroom where I do all my packing and everything for the orders for the Etsy. And I've got shelves down there with all my fabrics on. So if I'm not happy with this, the colour, I shall do it again. Now I've got the freezer paper, I can do it again on the on the white cotton tablecloths I've got down there. More ironing again, but never mind. That doesn't matter at all. And I could um, layer this up. I could put more on top of it if I want to, which I might do. So this video may be a stop and start one. And I have to say that I was thrilled to bits that I managed to get yesterday's joined together. I was so pleased that I managed to get it joined together. And not only did I join it together, but I did manage to get photographs on it as well. So Rachel was pleased. She said, well done, Mum. I've been over to see Rachel this morning, for those of you that know Rachel on Rachel Bella Crafts, on our Facebook page, and she's looking much better. I took her some flowers and chocolates over, so um, hopefully that cheered her up. Because I was concerned, because she said she couldn't breathe, so. But she looks okay, so she, she didn't sleep very well last night, because it's at night when she's lying down that she's finding it difficult to... Um, to breathe. So let's hope it all clears up soon. And then my son said he wasn't feeling very good today. So my family's having a bit of a bashing at the moment, I'm afraid. But there we are. Could be worse. Well, I think that's rather nice. I'm, I don't know whether actually I'm thinking, th I think this one's okay, but I'm wondering whether this is a little bit too, too dark. But I'm just going to play anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, see if I can get that there very slightly without too much ado. What have I done with my scissors? There they are. Excuse my arm. There we go. That's that one. And then what I thought... I'll, I'll do that one in a moment. What I thought I would do... I've got some book pages here. So that will stiffen it up a bit. And I might even, thinking about it, I should have got some music paper. That might have been nice, but I can also add that on the top. So um, let me just think now. I could have actually stitched that through there, couldn't I? That probably would have been the sensible thing to do. So let, let's just try this one. I'm, I'm just playing now. I'm just uh, trying things out, okay? So I'm just trying to decide what glue I'm going to use. There's my fabric glue. But I think actually I better move my, my grey mat, hadn't I? So let me just get everything off there now. 
because I don't want to get any glue on that because I would be upset if I did that. Right. Um, okay, so let's let's just glue this down if I can. I think I should have done this first, but I got distracted then with uh, the coughing, so I'm sorry about that. I think I'm running out. I think I said that once before, didn't I? I mean, I was filling up now. Yeah, I think I should have stitched it on to the book page first. That might have been sensible. And we'll try it and see. Let's try that and see what happens. Well, actually, that's not too bad. I worry about the frame bits. The glue will stop that now. Excuse me. Do this gently. This glue is excellent. It's um, high tack fabric glue, high performance, suitable for most fabrics, including cottons, synthetics, leather, suede, ribbons, etc. OK, in case you're wondering, there's the number. But if you just type in high tack fabric glue, because I can't use the um, this one because I just don't sleep. So, I don't know why, but it just affects me that way. I don't know whether it's affected anybody else like that, but I certainly can't sleep from it. Now, I know I haven't glued that down, so I need to glue that now. I'm doing everything back to front, aren't I? Never mind, it doesn't matter. I think that's glued down well actually that's, that's, that's okay so let me see now All right, let me put my glue top back on I'm, I've gone very quiet haven't I I'm sorry I hope you can hear me okay um, scissors right This is starting to feel a little bit thick. So I may have got away with just one sheet. I'm not sure now whether I've done the right thing using the book page. But when the glue dries, I think it will... Um, be okay. Get that down there. Just getting my um, journal a moment. I do think it's going to be the wrong colour. So that's a lesson for us. Um, I think I'm going to have to find the white, but that won't be wasted. I can use that in something else. So that, that's just the time for playing today, okay? So we'll forget about the journal in a minute and we'll just carry on making some more um, of these because that's got to be back now with um, white with some cream paper on the back, which I don't have at hand. So we'll just put that one aside. Um, I was just thinking what I could add to that. Uh, if there's something on here that will... We've got the words up there, so I don't know. I 
was going to make it darker again, so I'm not going to add something like that. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave that at the moment. I'm all in dithery do, aren't I? But on that, I'm yet to sew around these, so let me just stitch these with the rest of this cotton a moment. I was going to machine it, but I think actually what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to, because this is going to be uh, stuck on a page. So I'm just making some cross stitches on here a minute. Now, that's, that's made a hole in that, so that's, that's not working. So I'm not having a very good afternoon, am I? So I think, I think we best glue that down, I think. See if we can salvage it. Yep. Hopefully. Glue all over my hands and ink all over my hands, but no problem. Well, I hope you're all well today. It's been a funny day here. It was really, really sunny, but it's raining again now because we had a beautiful morning. That's why I drove over to Rachel's and thought I'd cheer her up. I don't do much driving these days. I don't know about you, but um, since we've moved here, I, I don't go far. I think we go shopping about once a week, but my husband's out and about all the time. So, well, I think that looks rather pretty, don't you? Shall we do three or shall we do five? What do you think? Perhaps I'll do five. So there will, will be plenty of slow stitching in this journal. And I shall be making more tags with slow stitching as well. There we are. Nearly done. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. Okay. So I'll just finish that off now. Because this is going to be glued down anyway. So just make sure that's secure there. And then that's going to go on a page. I'm not inking this... Um, journal by the way i've decided not to ink so let's see see these are the colors this this is not the color so i'm going to remove all these because i'm not going to use that in the journal but it will be used on something else and i thought what i was going to do i was either going to put that on there or that on there and I was going to machine stitch it on, but I can't, can I? So I was, but I, I might still just machine stitch that around there. So if I can move everything, I'll just check everything on the floor. And bring my um, machine over. Get something done today. Put my iron down on the floor. Sorry, I'm banging you. This is going to make a noise, so if you don't like the sound of the machine, I should turn your gadget down or wind this on. Alright, so I'm going to do just a zigzag, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to do a straight stitch. I 
I'm going to start there, I think. Right, I'm going to turn the machine on now, okay? I'm going slowly so it doesn't make too much of a noise. I'm hoping you can see this. I've done a bigger stitch on there now because I did like the larger stitch. Um, cotton's so fine, I can't see where it starts and where it finishes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How ridiculous. So there we are, that's that one. And I think that will look nice on here and I don't think I'm going to put anything on that one I know you're probably all shouting at me and saying ink ink but I'm going to resist I'm going to resist the urge to ink hope I haven't been off screen right I can actually thinking about it Getting my book page up off the floor. I can use my um, glue stick. Don't know why it's melting, but it is. So if I go down here like this, it may or may not work the way things go this afternoon. okay oh, I quite like that and that's nice with that and also with that what I might do is put some fabric glue under here just to make sure she stays down a little bit by there Anyway, there we go. Right. And that little bit of lace ties in with this over here. That's what I was thinking. And I think that works really well. So there we go. So it's been a bit of a mix match this afternoon. Um, I think it was because I thought there were going to be visitors downstairs and I was listening out for them and um, they're late. So I think I got a bit distracted. So I do apologise. And I hope you've all had a lovely Sunday. And... Um, I'm just looking at this, wondering whether I'll whiz around that before I forget. It's not quite wide enough, is it? No. No, I need something big. I probably need some music paper. So I shall come back to that. And I'm going to leave it there now, guys. And um, sorry it's been such a, um, a funny video. But I'll speak to you again soon. Take care now. Bye for now. Well, I just had to come back on and tell you. I went down to make this lovely family uh, a cup of tea. And they brought cake. Because <laughs> my husband said come for tea. So they brought cake with them. 
and it turns out that the family, um, their mum was 82 yesterday. She's from this area and they've been everywhere. It's not going to be telling you about the places because you won't know what, who, where they are anyway. But you know what? Everywhere they went over the last two days, there was a rainbow over the place where she was living and the places where she, uh, uh, the family had worked and, and it just followed them around. It was really extraordinary. But the most extraordinary thing of all was that the three girls are triplets. Now, I didn't get their names because the lady that was talking to me, um, one of the triplets, and there was a gentleman with them as well, and I presume that was one of the husbands. Um, but they were fascinating. And I just I just had to tell you that, that they are the, the most adorable family. And the obviously the elder of the triplets, she was the one doing all the talking and she was um, she was calling her mum, mummy. And it was so sweet and so genteel. And so I just wanted to share that with you and finish off the story. So they're, they're really having a whale of a time down there. So um, I've just popped back up to tell you that I've met them and they're sweet and um, they're from Cambridge. So take care, everybody. And I hope you've had such a lovely day as I've had today. So I thought you might be interested. So bye for now.